Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are looking at this brake booster intensifier to see how it works and what is the benefit of it. So before starting the video, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to get the notification when we upload new videos. So you already know that the brake booster is vacuum operated. So we need to provide the vacuum from here to the brake booster to operate it. So normally this vacuum hose should be connected to the intake manifold. So when engine runs, this hose is gonna provide the vacuum from intake manifold to the brake booster. But on this engine, if you follow that hose, you see that the vacuum hose gets to this part, which is called brake booster intensifier. So it's not connected directly to the intake manifold. So as you see, we have two other hoses on this intensifier. One hose is just right here, which goes to the engine intake manifold. And the other hose just right here goes to the intake system. This one is connected to the intake system right after the air filter. So it means when engine is running, vacuum is not provided directly to the brake booster. So in between, we have this brake intensifier to provide the vacuum. But what is the benefit of it first? Generally, the reason that we are using the brake intensifier on some engines is because engine negative pressure inside the intake manifold is not uniform depending on engine running condition because brake booster is really important for the operation of the brake system. For having a quality operation on brake booster, we need to make sure that we provide uniform and enough amount of negative pressure to the brake booster all the time when we are driving the car. So that's why on some cars we have this brake intensifier. But let's have a look at the internal structure of this brake booster intensifier. And then we're gonna get back here to explain more. So you see the structure of the brake intensifier right now. First of all, have a look at the hoses connections. As you see, one end of the intensifier is connected to the intake air that I just showed you. The other end is connected to the intake manifold. And the last hose that you see down here is connected to the brake booster. So inside the intensifier, in this case, we have two check valves or one-way valves. So these two one-way valves prevent the reverse flow of the air. But how this intensifier works? Normally, when engine is running, the negative pressure of the engine surge tank forces the air to enter to the intensifier through the intake hose. So as the air passes through the ventry tube, its pressure decreases while the flow rate increases. This ventry design is gonna increase the flow rate and at the same time, it's gonna drop the pressure. This fall in the pressure and the negative pressure from the surge tank forces the air out of the brake booster into the engine, creating a vacuum inside the brake booster. So it means, as you see, we have two check valves so not only the engine vacuum is opening one of the check valves to provide the vacuum to the brake booster, but the other check valve is operated by the negative pressure inside the ventry tube, enhancing the performance of the brake booster. By having this design, we are actually providing uniform amount of negative pressure to the brake booster all the time, even if engine is experienced in different conditions. So back in here, as you see again, check valves are located just right here. These two are the check valves. This hose again is connected to the brake booster. Uh, this one is connected to the intake manifold. We have one check valve right here, which is opened by the negative pressure provided from the intake manifold. And another check valve here just right at the venturi. So right here we have the venturi tube. When air is forced to flow through this hose, it's gonna go through the venturi, which is right here. And this venturi generates low pressure, which is gonna open up this check valve to apply the vacuum on the brake booster. So this simple design is gonna increase the performance of the brake booster in all driving condition. All right guys, it was a very quick video on this brake intensifier. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.